Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be kind of initial reviewing or first impressions of the Belly makeup brushes. Now, I have two sets, but I recently bought the set of 40. So what we're going to be doing is just to, you know, show those as well as to compare them to the Belly Red 28 set. So if you'd like to know what I think about these brushes, just keep on watching. Alright guys. Okay guys, for this one, interested in watch the rest of this video for <laughs> joke. Alright, hi guys. So of course I got them from AliExpress. So regular envelope. And the brush is just slipped out of the box. Anyways, so let me just push this back in the box. I've had these for about a week now since they got to Jamaica because when I ordered them from AliExpress, I had a shipping company and they shipped it to that. I shipped it Took the address and then the shipping company brought it here. Now, you know what? Let's we're gonna talk about shipping the next time. But it came in this right here, one plastic box type of thing, one paper box, and this casing that has two brushes in it. Alright, so let's talk about shipping. Oh guys, I must apologize for my glasses. If you're seeing the ring light in it, I'm so sorry. But it's late at night and I have light sensitivity. So, <laughs> I just need to wear my glasses right now. Anyways, shipping. You know, AliExpress can take about nine days or so. That's the base shipping on AliExpress. Now, I ordered it and it got to the warehouse in Miami within a week or so. But then, it took like two weeks before the shipping company cleared it. And I was able to pick it up in Kingston. So roughly three, four weeks before I got the order, right? Excuse me, I'm a little itch. Yeah, three, four weeks. So if you're going to be ordering these brushes, you can just make up your mind say you probably not going to get them until two weeks, three weeks have passed. Right. And like I was motivated to get these brushes because I had bought a set before, which is the red set of 28. I had bought these for my clients because I freelance makeup. And I was just like, yo, I really like this. Because you know when you're on AliExpress, you just have to you have to choose wisely which product or brushes you can get. So I bought them and I liked them. So I'm like, alright, cool. I'm going to get another set. Now I didn't want to get the same color because I didn't want to have them mixed up or whatever. And I got these two years ago. And I recently got the 40 set. Alright, so just first impression. As you can see, there are a lot of brushes here. Plus this one here, I washed them already. It's not, it's, technically, it's not a first impression because I opened them, I looked at it, I washed them. Pro tip, whenever you get new makeup brushes, always wash them. Just like when you wash your clothes, when you just buy them because they've been sitting in the factory, dirt, germs, whatever bacteria might be on it and you don't want to necessarily transfer that to your skin. So just wash it. So I washed them and I looked at them. So, in this first box, the paper box, right, I have a number of brushes. I'm going to show you them. I'm going to show you each of them. So, on the, I really need to stop doing that tongue smack thing. On the website, it says Belly, B E I L I, 40 pieces, loves your black professional makeup brush set. Big brushes, powder, foundation, blending, goat hair, makeup brushes. So, I got 20 face brushes and 20 eye brushes. 
first day. I just gonna start off why I chose this because most makeup brush sets they don't come in 40 and if you know like Sephora and Sigma and all the other brush types or other companies that sell brushes you don't really get a lot of brushes for a little bit of money or I thought it's a bit of money but what you would call what you would call sorry inexpensive right so I got 40 brushes and it cost me 60 around 65 dollars US and I bought the 28 set one I don't remember how much I bought those for but anyways so you have this brush here which is a powder brush this is a powder brush this is that really dome like and then this is another guys I washed the brushes and I forgot how they came because the brushes will come in things like this and this is a thingy right here that helps to protect keep the shape of the brush so this as well is another powder brush then you have this brush here which is a cream contour brush i'd use this for regular foundation you know certain foundations they work better with a dense brush than with a flat foundation brush or a sponge the next brush is a stippling brush The next one is a face paint brush it says but I'll be using this to apply anything to my face foundation cream a mattifying primer I like make up magnesia or color my lotion yeah this now is a powder brush it says here yeah apply your powder and team this is a fan brush like so a small fan brush regular size fan brush you can use to your highlight or dust anything off of your face this here is a blush brush but for me personally I like to use these with bronzer or to contour using powder This now is a powder finish brush. It's similar to the first powder brush that I showed you, but it's much smaller. So you can just hit me out. <laughs> Do you guys see that anyways? So, you know, it's, yeah. Anything you want to use them for, honestly, but it's good that each of them have a number as well as the description or name of the brush so that you can know what they're used for next we have a large fan brush like so oh when this came it was bent so i don't know if it's the way that it was packaged or just how it was shaped and if it was squeezed or stuff or something like that but this was bent like this and it kind of had a weird shape it wasn't exactly you know funny so I'm trying my best to fix that I don't know how but I'm trying next we have a highlight brush I really wanted this brush this was like one of the main reasons I got this brush set from them you know just boom 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 with your highlight and the great thing is the shape of it you can either use a tip to be light with it or you know bam the sides to apply a lot and then we have a found the regular flat foundation brush yes now the order i'm doing this is not necessarily how they came in the package but it's just how i just put them back in the package after washing them now in this set you have a spoolie and a large powder brush this was also the reason why sorry the reason why I the, this is also the reason that I got this 40 brush set because of this large powder brush. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at it. 
it's so big and boom boom I'm done yes and also this pulley came in this particular set oops Brush, brush, really brush, brush. If you guys see me looking off, I'm looking at the viewfind now, which I should not be doing, but I should be doing because me alone in the studio. So I have to check if I, you know, if I look okay. Anyways, so this is the last of the brushes. In this, we have a blush brush, which is like a slanted kabuki brush. It, honestly, you can use this to apply liquid foundation. It doesn't have to be blush because it's kind of dense. So it will apply a lot of blush on your face, which you might not want to do. So you have to be careful. Next, we have a finished brush. It says finish hair and it's like a dense brush. As you can see, so I don't know if you can see it, but there are some hairs that are taller than the others. So I'm going to do is just take a scissors and clip it, like no big deal. The good thing is that when I was washing these brushes, there are no brushes, no brush bristles coming out. So you can just use this to blend out concealer, foundation, anything. This now is interesting, it's called a face curve brush. And it's like this, but if you look right in the center, there's a hole in the center and it's lower than the rest of the brush. Which is interesting. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this to do, but if you guys have any, you know, idea, you can tell me. This now is a definer brush, dome shape, kind of like a eyeshadow blending brush, but it's larger. This uses the dust off powder, or you know, put on cream or liquid, as it says, a definer brush. Next we have the con this is a concealer brush, but you know that my body was engraving over these brush shapes. Use this contour either like this or like this powder, liquid, anything. We have the face shape brush like so. Yeah. Guys also if this isn't focusing on the brushes i'm also sorry but i'm trying my best it's a learning process yeah you can use this for blending things on the face we also have a foundation brush so this is a regular kabuki brush but this isn't as dense as this is it they're the same density then we move on to the eye brushes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, including the spoolie. Eye brushes. So, this is a blending brush. And by the way, these are supposedly all synthetic and goat hairs. I'm thinking that the brown hairs, is hairs a word? If it isn't, pardon me. Right. So the brown hair brushes is goat hair. So this is a blending brush. It kind of dense, if you can see it. Next we have a regular blending brush, like so. And then we have eyeliner brush. We have a pencil brush. A paint liner. This is rough, I'm not gonna tell you no <laughs> It's very hard. And I was hoping that I cut, cause like when I was looking at it online, I didn't think that it would be this rough, but it rough. So, I don't know if I'm gonna use this on my eye, but we'll see. This is a detail shader brush. A short shader brush. And if you see the difference, the brush I just showed you is supposedly goat hair, and this hair is synthetic. So, 
the short shader brush will kind of give you, you see that? Dust. Mm. Um, what was I saying? This will give you like a, a softer application of eyeshadow versus this will really make it more sharp. Yes. Anyways, now this is a petite crease. So you can just use this when you want to like detail or define the crease. This here is a blending brush. Standard, not a special about it. Excuse me. This is a petite blending brush. This is a regular definer brush. Which is both here similar to the short shader brush. This here is a eyebrow angled brush. This is a paint liner brush. Angled synthetic thin angled brush. Can use this for anything really, eyeliner, so on and so forth. This is a lip brush. This is a eye contour brush. That's what it says on the handle. But you can just use this for any type of powder that you want to add, that you need this shape of a brush to do. To do, to do. This is a detail liner brush. Smaller than the liner brush that I showed you earlier. This is a short shader brush. This is a smoky shader. And this is eyelash. You know, but when I use this for eyelash, you know, so I use it with highbrow. The cute thing, or what I didn't expect, was it for it to have a cover for the combs, which is a really good thing because this got into my finger. Like I was doing something, it was on the bed and it go bloop under my skin. You know like when you're young and you use a needle and go under your skin in your hand, your palm or outside, like hair, your knuckles, sorry, or your palm. That's what it did. It did that. But anyways, those are all faulty brushes. Now, I'm going to compare them to my red set. Lord, so gonna apply this is earth and iron and I'm back. Anyways, so let me check it. Compatible. Alright, so 28 brushes. Same company. The first thing I noticed is that on these brushes, the font is. What you call it now? It's different than the font on this one. Alright, let me show you. On this brush, it's like that. On this brush, it's like that. I don't know if it's the same company. I think it is. It's just like different fonts. And I think these are newer. Right? These were manufactured after the black set. Anyways, so these don't have the purpose of the brush on it either. But they're cute. I really love this one. It's a powder brush and these are wool fiber so the difference with this one the red set I'm looking at a computer that has the Alex Wrestling Copen all right so guys I need a new computer <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what to do. If you guys have any tips that I can legally get money to buy a laptop, please let me know. Like, pretty, pretty, please. It's frustrating, honestly. Alright, so these are nano wool fiber, goat hair, pony hair. And synthetic hair. This one is okay. The type of hair isn't attached to the number brush, but that's okay. 
So this is a powder brush. Oh, yes. And these have the same type of packaging. They have this to keep the shape of the brushes and then the plastic for the handles. This is a same brush similar to the black one. Yes, similar to the black ones that I showed you. This would be okay. This one now. Where did it go? I don't see it. Yeah, but this is another brush. But if you want to have if you don't want faulty brushes, you can get these because I really love these. But this right here, you can use it for shadow or to blend out dark on the eye. That's what I've used it for. Then you have this brush here, which is a slanted brush in size. In comparison to the other one, hmm. I would say that the white one is bigger. But it could just be because it's been used. And guys, they came white, but because of the color and makeup, they were stained. I've washed my brushes multiple times since I've used them. I wash them after each client, right? Straight. All the time. But they're just stained. As you can see, some of them pure white, some of them have color on it. And I haven't used all these brushes as yet. So you have this here, this one here, so yeah. You have this dome top brush. Similar to one that I showed you guys earlier. It's just really nice and it's really good like, to brush on the eye. Nice. This here is a stepping brush. This is a flat brush can use it for foundation so as i said earlier when i was describing or reviewing the black brushes those are the purposes or you can use them for other things and it's just the same thing for the red ones it's just that the red ones don't have a description on the handle or the purpose of each brush on the handle next you have the same brush like so Really nice, really nice. But as I said, these are have different. These are made from a different type of hair. This is the flat foundation brush. So you can see this now is. I don't know. Oops. Can I find a purpose? This here. And that's it for face brushes. So you have that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven face brushes. Technically twelve. Put this one here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oops, eighteen eye brushes. So you have eyeliner. You have an eyeliner brush. This is a shader brush, but you can use it for concealer. Oh, by the way, none of these brush sets came with a brush that you could use for concealer. Nice. And I don't know how I didn't notice that, but this is like a buffing brush. This here so is a pencil brush. The black set that I have this, but this one here is like a, a very thin liner brush. Super duper cute. Super duper resourceful. I wish it had come with that. 
I might have to get a set of these red brushes. But Belly, if you do this, if you do this, Belly, if you do see this, feel free to sponsor or to send me them. Like I would love them. Peas and tongs. This is an angled brush. This is another angled brush. And we have one, two, three, four, five. Blending brushes. All right, this here is another like a pencil brush. This is a lip brush. This right here is a short shader brush. This is a synthetic shader brush. This is the same eye contour brush that I showed before in the black. This is a small eyeliner brush. Here's a small angles brush. And now onto the blending brush is the star of this set. The star of this set. This is a dense one. A very dense. Let me see. Yeah, none of these say paint brush. Like this one over here. This one is way, way softer. And you have this one, blending brush. Then you have this, which is like a shader brush, slash blending brush. Then you have this one. Oh. This and this are similar, but as you can see, the black one is larger. Yeah. And this is another brush. And I guess this is a petite crease brush. Okay, so. Yeah, guys. My back is tired from sitting on the street too long. <laughs> But yes, those are my set, my two sets of belly brushes. I have the black 40 set and I have the 28 red set. As you can see, each set has different sets of brushes. So there's no guarantee that you're going to get some brushes from the red set if you buy a black set, right? Or if you buy more brushes. So for example, my, my 28 set brush set has some brushes that my fourth set does not have you get me yeah so that's all that's my you know brush haul <laughs> yeah i like them i'm going to use them i just wanted to do this review before i use them so yeah if you want inexpensive brushes a lot of that and their quality you can order these from aliexpress i'm going to try to link it below so that you guys can view it and for yourself but guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the rest of your day or your week or your month or your year bye guys oh guys i forgot to say comment down below which set was your favorite set thank you